We've all seen robots in movies, they whip up gourmet meals, build skyscrapers in minutes, and even fold your laundry. But how close are we to this reality? Well, get ready for a caffeine jolt, because today we're introducing you to Figure Zero One, a robot who's learned to make coffee, not from a manual, not from pre-programmed steps, but by simply watching a human do it using an end-to-end -end AI system, trained in only 10 hours. An enter end AI system is a type of AI system that can perform a complex task from start to finish, without requiring any human intervention or supervision. For example, an enter end AI system for speech recognition can take an audio input and produce a text output, without needing any intermediate steps or modules. This makes the system more efficient, robust, and scalable. It integrates multiple components of AI, such as computer vision, natural language processing, machine learning, and deep learning into a single pipeline that can handle complex tasks without human intervention. But how does an end-to-end -end AI system learn how to do something? Well, there are different methods, but one of the most common ones is called reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is a technique that allows an AI system to learn from its own actions and feedback. The system tries different actions in a given environment and receives rewards or penalties based on the outcomes. The system then learns to optimize its actions to maximize the rewards. An enter-end AI system consists of two main components, a data collection module and a learning module. The data collection module is responsible for gathering and storing the data that the system needs to learn from. In the case of Figure 01, the data collection module is a camera that records videos of humans making coffee. The learning module is responsible for analyzing the data and extracting the relevant information and patterns. In the case of Figure 01, the learning module is a deep neural network that processes the video frames and outputs the actions and parameters that the robot needs to execute. For example, Figure 01 can learn how to make coffee by watching a human do it. It can use its computer vision to recognize the objects and actions involved, such as the coffee machine, the mug, the button, and the pouring. It can use its natural language processing to understand the verbal instructions and feedback from the human. It can use its machine learning to extract the relevant features and patterns from the data. And it can use its deep learning to optimize its neural network and improve its performance over time. The enter end AI system of Figure 01 is based on state of the art AI models such as CGCNN, PHYSNet, SCHNet, MPNN, MPNN Transformer, and TorchMDNet. These models enable Figure 01 to handle complex physical and chemical interactions, such as the temperature, pressure, and flow of the water and coffee. They also enable Figure 01 to adapt to different environments and scenarios, such as the size, shape, and color of the mug, the type and amount of coffee, and the preferences of the user. That's exactly how Figure 01 learned how to make coffee. It watched videos of humans making coffee and extracted the key steps and actions involved. Then, it tried to replicate those actions using its own sensors and actuators and received feedback from a virtual environment. The feedback was based on how well the coffee matched the desired taste, temperature, and quantity. Figure 01 learned to adjust its actions to improve the quality of the coffee and eventually mastered the skill. Figure 01 can learn how to make coffee in just 10 hours, which is one of the quickest turnarounds in humanoid history. This is because Figure 01 uses a combination of supervised, unsupervised, and reinforcement learning to learn from its own experience and feedback. It can also leverage the data and knowledge from other Figure 01 robots through a cloud-based platform, which accelerates its learning process. The advantage of an end-to-end -end AI system is that it can learn from raw data, without requiring any pre-processing or feature engineering. This makes it more flexible and adaptable to different tasks and environments. The challenge of an enter end AI system is that it requires a lot of data and computational power to train and optimize. That's why Figure 01 is so impressive, it managed to learn how to make coffee from only 10 hours of video data, using a state-of-the-art AI framework. Figure 01 is just the first sip of what's to come. Enter-end AI has the potential to revolutionize everything from cooking to cleaning, healthcare to manufacturing. Imagine robots learning complex tasks by simply observing, adapting to new situations, and even teaching other robots. Currently, Figure 01 is said to be the first commercially viable humanoid robot. 
because it can offer a high return on investment for businesses and consumers. It can reduce the cost and risk of manual labor, increase the productivity and efficiency of operations, and enhance the quality and satisfaction of services. It can also create new opportunities and markets for AI applications, such as education, entertainment, and health care. So, is Figure Zero One the future of baristas? Maybe not. But it's a glimpse into a world where AI can learn and adapt, pushing the boundaries of what we think machines can do. It's about collaboration, not replacement. Figure Zero One can be the perfect partner for busy cafes, helping human baristas focus on the creative side of coffee making. Click here to watch my video on Kepler Humanoid Robot, which might be the biggest competitor to Tesla's Optimus Robot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more AI content. See you next time.